Less than two months ago, he was being sworn in as Sri Lanka's new prime minister. But after weeks of political turmoil, Mahinda Rajapaksa is to resign to ensure his son said on Twitter the stability of the nation. Rajapaksa was previously Sri Lanka's president for a decade, bringing to an end the country's long civil war with a brutal final assault on the Tamil Tiger rebels. His appointment as Prime Minister, though, has been controversial from the start and plunged the country into a constitutional crisis. It began in October when the President, Mathripala Sirisena, appointed Rajapaksa and unceremoniously sacked Ranul Vikram Senga. Within days, thousands turned out to show their anger at Sirisena's decision. Since then, there have been demonstrations supporting and opposing Rajapaksa. <laughs> Sri Lanka has now been without a functioning government for nearly two weeks after a court suspended Rajapaksa and his cabinet when they lost two no-confidence votes. And on Thursday, Sri Lanka's highest court ruled that a decision by the president to dissolve the parliament ahead of its term and call a snap election for early January was unconstitutional. Rajapaksa's decision to step down is unlikely to mean that Sri Lanka's political landscape can return to a kind of normality anytime soon. Mahinda Rajapaksa is expected to address the nation on Saturday. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.